Is Google trying to rip you off by having the search partners network ticked by default in your search campaigns? Let's find out together. Welcome to today's video in this Google Ads optimization video series with me, Bren Hamill. In today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about the search partners network in the Google Ads platform and how you can evaluate this platform really quickly in the order of is it working for you or is it not working for you. It's very, very important because it can take a large share of your daily ad budget. So you want to be making sure that the CPA is working within your parameters. But before we get stuck into today's video, make sure to click that subscribe button ensuring that you get weekly notifications when I'm releasing fantastic content just like this. Also, if you have a question about today's video, don't forget to pop down to the comment section below, ask your question because I answer all the questions personally either with a written response or a video response. So with that being said, let's jump over to my computer and we'll get stuck into today's tutorial. So here we are back at my computer. And what I want to touch on first is what is the Search Partners Network and what is the Google Search Network? So first, the Google Search Network. Now the, the Google Search Network is a little bit self-explanatory. It covers the search engine, but it also covers Google Play and Google Shopping and things of that nature. It does not cover the YouTube network though, even though that is owned by Google. On the other hand, the Google Partners Network covers the YouTube network and other publications that use the, a search facility that's kind of acts like a search network that has ads within that framework of that search facility. So it's a massive network and there's some typical characteristics that you can see with it. High impressions, low CTRs, most of the time not always low CPCs. But what we're really uh, focusing on in today's tutorial is it driving conversions for you and your business. So let's jump over to this Google ad account. So here we are at a Google ads campaign that's running both Google search ads and Google partners ads as well. And what we want to do is evaluate each independently based upon the CPA that they're driving and the cost of the CPA. So to do this, what you want to do is come over to search campaigns. We want to click the segmentation tab or the segment tab, come down to network with search partners. And this gives you the options here of Google search and search partners. Now it's really important that you evaluate this not as the account as a whole, but as individual campaigns, especially, have, especially if you have wide ranging products and or services. Because as you'll see in this campaign, sometimes a search partners network is working fantastically well, and sometimes it isn't. And we want to evaluate this really quickly. It's also important that you have enough conversions to be able to substantiate the data. So what we, what we have here is first off in this first campaign is a whole bunch of different metrics that we want to evaluate, the most important being conversions and cost per conversions. With that being said, we can see clicks here, we're getting substantially less clicks, a great deal more impressions, and that obviously results in a significantly lower CTR. That's extremely common within the search partners network. Even though that the CTR is substantially lower, we're still seeing a, a lower uh, CPC, which is also quite common to be seen. What we can also see is the amount of spend, 484 as opposed to 60, and we're seeing conversions here, nine as opposed to zero. So we can kind of see that, okay, the search partners network may or may not be working. We wouldn't evaluate this one just yet. We can see this next campaign is not working with the, the, the search partners platform. It's been deemed as uh, not working for this particular campaign. Now, as we come down to this particular campaign though, we can see some really interesting and actionable insights here. Now we can see that clicks 482 to 84, again, substantially more impressions for the search partners program. Again, uh, lower CTRs, uh, lower CPC, uh, obviously, uh, we're seeing lower spend as well, uh, 358 to 59. But we see here a change in conversions in, in some sense. So we can see here seven conversions as opposed to 10 and a drastically different uh, cost per conversion. 
from 51 down to 6 which is absolutely massive and it, obviously that translates in a, in a hugely different conversion rate as well. So you need to make sure that you have the, the column set correctly here so if, you, if you're not seeing conversion data here you want to just come down to uh, modify uh, columns here we want to click into conversions and make sure that you have these tabs clicked uh, in the appropriate way obviously click apply I always like to save the column so you might just name this as your conversion uh, kind of column set Pre press apply and then you'll get this information within your, your Google Ads dashboard as we see here so as we scroll down we can kind of see that we need to evaluate these campaigns very much in their individual platform, so Google search and, and search partners, because we can see a huge disparity between each of, each of the particular campaigns. So with that being said, what do we do now with this information? So we wanna come into a, a Google campaign and move to the settings tab. So here we are, we've ended a campaign that's hypothetically got a very poor result from the, the, the search partners platform. So what we want to do is enter that particular campaign, come over to settings. We want to move over to uh, networks and here we have the options for, for the networks. Now this by default is clicked and I do highly recommend that you leave it clicked when you first start a campaign because you have little to no idea whether the, the partners platform is going to work for you or not and you need some data to substantiate that. You want at least 10 to 20 conversions before you start to make a judgment. But nonetheless, hypothetically, this campaign is not working well on the, the Google Search Partners platform. So we want to untick that and click Save. Now, with that being done, your ads will cease, cease to show on the, the Google Search Partners platform, hopefully resulting in a lower cost per acquisition and dedicating more of your budget to the search platform uh, getting you scalability and again lowering that cost per CPA. So overall a, a compounding result there for your business uh, hopefully putting more cash in your in your wallet. It's important to know that when you're using Google's Keyword Planner and doing keyword research that you can interact and conduct research with the Google Search Network and the Google Partners Network combined. It can give you some more clarity and a sense of expectations uh, in terms of what you're going to get potentially from incorporating both networks into your campaigns when you are doing that first initial research. I still stress that you should still use the Google Search Partners platform in the starting of your campaigns and evaluate that when you're starting to get enough uh, conversions through your campaigns. But that, with that being said, so I've used the general keyword of dog training and we can see search volumes based strictly on the Google network by itself, so not uh, the, com the combination of Google and search partners. So we can see search volumes here. Now if we do change that and always make sure that the location is set correctly and we change that to search at, uh, Google and, and uh, search partners, we can see a, a pretty significant increase in search volume in the order of approximately say 20%. And this gives you an idea of how many more impressions you may get. I deem it as not terribly accurate as you could see with the, with the demonstration uh, campaign uh, a few moments ago, the drastic number of impressions that you get on the Search Partners Network as opposed to the, the Google Network. But again, this just gives you some form of loose idea of what you possibly could get. It's important that when you are conducting your research and forecasting your plans, that you do evaluate the Google and Google and Search Partners platform correctly. So this concludes today's video about the Google Search Network and the Google Search Partners Network. I hope you found it informative, but before you go, don't forget, if you ever wanna have a conversation with me, there's no obligation, there's no selling BS, I'm certainly not like that in any way, shape or form. Uh, you can come over to my website here at brenhamill.com, scroll down to the bottom, click this big button here, and we can just have a conversation. Uh, I feel like I enjoy the conversations more than, than the, the, the people from all around the world that I have them with. They typically go from 30 minutes up to about uh, 60 minutes to, to, uh, to 90 minutes. What we do is I, I like to sit down and review your marketing in terms of your Google AdWords, your Facebook ads, and we do this together. So we can talk about what you're doing well, what you're not doing well, 
and then you can jump off and tackle these issues and opportunities and optimization processes yourself. So it, it's hugely beneficial for you. It's hugely beneficial for me because I get learnings from what you're doing in and around your business and uh, it, it's fantastic. So if you want to do that, I do have a, 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 a portion uh, of time dedicated every month to this. So just jump over to the website and get that done. Also, if you have a question about today's video, don't forget to pop down to that comment section below and ask your question. And also, don't forget to click that subscribe button to ensure that you get the next video in this Google Ads optimization video series. So, with this tutorial being finished, it's goodbye from me and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.